Hey, what's going on today, YouTube? It's your boy, Stu. Yo, in today's video, it's gonna be a little bit more of a serious one. I I'm really don't know exactly how I'm gonna say what I wanna say, or, or I, I didn't write a script for this or nothing. I'm really just hitting record and talking. We need to have a conversation about Warzone. So, I hope you guys decide to stick with me this whole entire video. Let's talk about some of the big things, some of the big elephants in the room when it comes to Warzone. Let's get it. I'm going to start by saying Black Ops 6 looks absolutely amazing. I've played it. I had fun playing it. I got some players of the game. I'm absolutely, I'm absolutely in love with Omni Movement. And it really is getting back to the old MW 2019 days where there is a skill gap. And so there is something to play for to make yourself better. So my only concern when it comes to Warzone about some leaks that have been told and some things that have already been said is how is this going to translate into Warzone? As we already see, they, they got Area 99, they already have a new Rebirth map, and they're bringing back Redonce, which is good, but technically, they ha besides just mentioning early 2024, that means we have to play Yurikstan for another how many months? Three, four, five months after launch? Warzone is a big map game. It, it, that's how it started, and that's how it should always be. I love Resurgence. I play Resurgence with my friends every single day. Resurgence is fine, but it's it, but it's the closest thing to multiplayer as possible. And I despise multiplayer. I I do not like multiplayer. I will play multiplayer to level my guns or to get camos, but as far as 24/7, it's just a boring, tedious thing. It's just it's just. It's just boring. And I, I and once again, out of, out of everything I'm saying right now in this video, I want you guys to type in the comments down below if you guys agree or disagree with anything I'm saying. First things first, what really, I think, destroyed Big Map Warzone was Caldera. If anybody remembers Caldera back in the day, um, Caldera and that map, and the, the map wasn't even bad. Um, the map was, I'll take that back. <laughs> the map was terrible but there was a lot of shining spots about it and i think people could have gotten over it if it wasn't for certain flaws so let's go over those flaws and figure out why big map continues to drop the ball first things first on launch people on consoles could not play it i was on console at the time and for the first month it's almost two months of caldera i couldn't even play it I couldn't even play it because it was so badly optimized. It, it, it was it was just thrown together. It was not put together well. The map design was cool or whatever. It was nice. You know, you had a big island in the middle of the map. But besides that, like it was just, overall, I could have overlooked the map design and I would have played it all year long. But here's the thing. I literally couldn't play it because it was not optimized and it was crashing so many PlayStation and Xboxes, you literally could not play the game. So that brings me to my first point. Optimize big map. The, a lot of times people are playing Resurgence, not only because it's fast paced, not only because you can get to a lot of gunfights fast, but for the most part, it just runs better. It just absolutely runs better. As you guys see right here, I'm running on a, a, a PC, a really decent PC, it's not the best, but it's a decent PC and I'm getting over 120, 130, 140 frames on Rebirth, but then when I go play Big Map in Yurikstan, I'm getting maybe 70 or 80. There shouldn't be no reason why I'm getting a 50 to 60 frames per second drop just to load into a map. It has to be optimized better, it has to be able to run smoother on PCs and Xboxes. And, 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 and PlayStation, it has to just run smoother. Optimize your game, do what you need to do, do checks and balances, stop. And I, I think I think the, the biggest thing here, Activision needs to stop pushing these devs to to, to do certain things that they don't wanna do. And then they're, they're, they're creating a bad product because these, because these devs are doing stuff that 
nobody really wants to, let's be honest here nobody really wants um but let me let, let me i'm gonna put a i'm gonna put a pause right here really quick a quick pause right here i want to give flowers to where flowers is due Shout out to Sledgehammer Game. Yeah, Sledgehammer did a great job this year. On the multiplayer side, uh, working hand in hand with Ravensoft to deliver a lot of quality updates to Ravensoft this year. Not just this game, Vanguard wasn't that bad either. Vanguard was a pretty good game. Sledgehammer is doing a really great job taking over and making games that really are good when Infinity Ward is dropping the ball. But <clears throat> I will say this. When it comes to Ravensoft doing Warzone, I love Ravensoft. Ever since Ravensoft took over Warzone in 2021, or maybe it was 2022, Warzone has gotten better and better, but at the same time, it's gotten worse. And it all depends on who is controlling the game at that time. Um, after learning what I've learned, that whoever is the head dev of the game that year, for MW2, it was Infinity Ward. For for MW3, it's Sledgehammer. And next year, it's going to be Treyarch. Warzone has to go with Trey. Has to go with whoever the lead dev is for that year. They need to be separated. We're in a new time now. Multiplayer is not the biggest thing. Multiplayer is there to sell money and to level guns. To make money and level guns. That's what multiplayer is for. You get the first initial boost in revenue in in selling guns. Everything else for the longevity of the company should be for Warzone. There should be tournaments for Warzone. War says Warzone is great, but there needs to be more. There needs to be a bigger scene. Have a Warzone league. There needs to, like Fortnite is Fortnite is giving you the blueprint on how you how you succeed as a live service game, and they're not following it. They need to have cash cups. A lot more things for smaller creators. A lot more things for just a lot of bigger people doing bigger things. Like Warzone is, it, I can't say it's fully neglected, but at the same time, it's it doesn't get the deserve. It does not get the love it deserves. Once again, shout out to Sledgehammer. They did, they did a great job with the multiplayer. Ravensoft is doing the best they can, but just make. I hope this year for Black Ops 6 with Omni Movement coming back and a lot of great guns coming back, Black Ops 6, Treyarch, and Ravensoft go hand in hand and make a really good war zone. Redonce is coming back. Big Map Rank is coming back. Oh my God. Let's not even talk about how we had Resurgence Rank for an entire year. The first season, it was cool. It was on Fortress Keep. I, I played it. You know, check out the series. Check out this video here. Check out this entire series here. To check out how it went. Um, <laughs> Rebirth ranked was garbage. Rebirth map should never have been a map. Uh, Rebirth map should have never been a a, a, a ranked map. And it's just not a ranked map. Rebirth is for fun, casual, fast paced. It Von Dale should have been. If you wanted to keep Rebirth ranked, it should have been Von Dale. Seventy players respawn uh there's a lot of a lot of flexibility there. like fortress keep and vondale should have been the maps ashika would have been a better map than rebirth ashika still would have been bad but it would have been better than rebirth and this is coming from somebody who plays rebirth a lot for the majority of his time rebirth is just not a good competitive map she's not a good competitive map but speaking about competitive and and, 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 and things being sweaty, skill-based match skill-based matchmaking has got to stop. Like it has to stop. I don't know why they think it's a good idea to have that in a casual playlist. But in a casual playlist where people just come in as casual, in competitive, that's fine, that's fine. Have skill-based matchmaking and crank it up. When I go play ranked, I wanna face the sweatiest of the sweatiest of the sweatiest people. Because then I want to bank myself, but that's the that's the pillar of you knowing how good you actually are. And whenever there's not hackers, rank pretty much is that, and I love it. I have never hit iridescent in Warzone 2 or in Warzone 3. I have never hit iridescent. I've gotten all the way up to crimson, and in, in Rebirth ranked, I've got up to crimson. But I've never hit iridescent, and I think that it should be that way. I, I'm not an iridescent player. 
I have to work my way up. I have to get better. I have to grind to become an iridescent player. And that's how it should be. That motivates me to get better. But when you have skill-based matchmaking that tries to put everybody, that nerfs certain people and then buffs others just so everybody's on a level playing field, that's not... <laughs> That's not, that doesn't drive you. That does not want to make you get better at the game. That just makes you the same. And if everyone, in the words of The Incredibles, if everyone is super, no one is. Give somebody some, give people something to strive to. Content creators should not be the same. They should not be put on these high pedestals because they're dropping in the 40s and 50s and then people are accusing them of cheating. No, they should see content creators as, yo, those guys are really good and I can be that good too if I work hard enough to do it. If you want people to play your game, give them a reason to play. If they're going to be the same as everybody else, what's the point of turning on your game? There's no point in playing your game. A lot of people, especially in Call of Duty, play the game to be better than somebody. Let's be honest. They do that. Competition is at the bread is the bread and butter of Call of Duty. That's why a lot of Call of Duty players play sports or know sports, or watch sports because they have they are naturally competitive. So trying to cater to this casual everybody wins mentality is just not good for Call of Duty. It's just not. So take skill-based matchmaking out of the equation. This past week, Ravensoft made a tweet saying that they're, they're, they're going to limit the playlist to get ready for Black Ops 6. Why? And if you are going to limit the playlist, I'm pretty sure you guys can look at the analytics and see. Resurgence Duos is not a playlist people want to play. Resurgence Squads? Yeah. Okay, that's fine. It should have been Solos and Quads. And then Trios for Ranked. Solos, Trios. Solos, trios for ranked and then quads. And in big map, solos. Solos should always be a thing. There are literally legitimately, legitimately solo creators who only play solos. You have people like Jev, you have people like Metaphor, like people who only play solos. And you're getting rid of all of their content because you got rid of solos. I understand people want to play with their friends. Do you keep quads? Yeah. And then, you know, if it's just two of them, they can do duo quads or duo fills, whatever the case may be. Keep quads at all times, but keep solos at all times as well. Duos is just a playlist, whether it's Big Map or Resurgence. That's just not, not the best. <laughs> it's just not the best playlist. So trios, it should always be quads, trios, and solos at all times. And the, the, the lack of big map love this year was really bad. It was really bad from, from Ravensoft. They gave so many updates to Resurgence this year. This year, had Resurgence had so many updates. And it was a lot of love for Resurgence. It was cool. They, make, they mixed up a lot of different stuff. They brought Rebirth back. They brought the Car 98. I mean, I know it was, they, they had a, a, the Halloween event just for Resurgence this year pretty much <laughs> like they did a lot of stuff for resurgence this year and it was cool and they made the resurgence community really happy but they have got to give big map some love that is the bread and butter of warzone so watch straight away from that so I, I i say all this to say it was just a little bit of a rant that i went on for this video um i i really am a big map player i love big map I know I have a lot of friends who love Big Map. Resurgence to me is just a glorified multiplayer. And I gotta say, man, like, I'm very happy. I'm in a very weird place right now when it comes to Warzone. I'm very happy and I love the content that's being created by Warzone creators like Repulse and, and Big Cartier. Swag even, even though Swag's more Hollywood now. <laughs> I, I enjoy the content, but I enjoy the content, but at the same time, Warzone's in a very stale place for a casual like me. For a casual like me, who's not good enough to drop 40s and 50s, but I'm also good enough to drop 20s. It's, I get, I'm good enough to get punished for being good enough but I'm bad enough 
to where I can't make super great content when it comes to YouTube and stuff like that. So I'm in that very small stalemate when it comes to that. So for me, as a casual sweat, I guess, I'm in a very bad state. And I wish that that could have been better. I just hope with Black Ops 6, it gets a lot better. The game's a lot more fun. They keep things fresh. They keep the metas fresh. They give Big Map their love. And they do Big Map rank right. This is what this is this, this is the song for me. If you guys want to listen to what I think that I want from Big Map 6, type down in the comments down below. What are some things you guys want in, in Black Ops 6 Warzone? And do you think that they'll integrate it without breaking the game this time? Let me know down in the comments down below. With that being said, man, it's your boy Stu, man. I know I haven't put out a video in a long time. I'm going to get back to the content here very, very soon. We're doing a lot of great things here on my end. We're, doing, we're trying to figure out a lot of great stuff to bring you guys the best content possible. And Black Ops 6 is going to be that stomping ground. So don't you're not going to want to miss it. Make sure you guys subscribe to the channel, all right? Subscribe to the channel. Let's hit 1K by the end of this next card. But that being said, man, hey, it's your boy Stu, and i catch y'all next time. Peace.